Uh, I was gonna say Mount Hoffman because this is the same trail as I did with my mom previously. Say hi! <laughs> so today we're actually hiking Dyson Falls, which is, I think it's like eight kilometers around there. And it is up the trail, again, same trail as Mount Hoffman, but you just go straight instead of turning up the mountain. The mosquitoes are already eating me <laughs> and we just started. So this is gonna be fun. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Standing in the cold, cold rain I don't even feel the pain Anything to step away I know we could both do better Wish you would've left me here Now I'm just controlled by fear What's the point in our reflection If you never look in the mirror Counting the days until you're gone Waiting for us to carry on Oh, I'm running, what am I running from? Time's going by, but where's the time going? I tried to give you everything You took it all and took it for granted If you're still falling out of love Maybe it's cause it's not enough And I'm hoping I'll find a way to let go 
Welcome to my after hike summary for Dyson Falls. So, <laughs> I don't know how long this vlog is going to be, honestly. I don't see it being very long because I feel like I didn't take a whole lot of clips on this one. It's a pretty short hike. So, this one is 8.7k total and the elevation is 264 meters. So, this is definitely a beginner hike, an easy hike, something where you kind of just want almost like a nature walk through the woods and then you finally get to a waterfall at the end. That's kind of what to expect with this one. Don't expect like some crazy amazing view because the elevation gain is so minimal, but it's great if you're taking somebody on their first hike, maybe they're not that experienced with hiking or anything like that and they just kind of want somewhat of a moderately traffic trail where there's going to be people around, you know, you don't really have to worry too much about wildlife or that sort of thing. This is a good one if you're planning to take your kids hiking. This is also a good one if you want like a really nice dog friendly, super easy trail. This is a good one as well. So I did take my mom here and our friend Queenie and we went last weekend. Yeah, last weekend. So I did Mount Allen the day before and holy, let me tell you, <laughs> my ankles were just so sore from that hike the day before because it was like a 16 kilometer really long hike. I already did a full video on that if you guys are interested, if you guys wanna check it out, it is in my hiking playlist. So I did that the day before. I wanted something a little bit just easy going for the next day is more of a recovery hike. And I did say that, you know, there was gonna be waterfalls and that's really, the views that you're pretty much getting on this hike. I did Mount Hoffman with my mom. I think it was like last month or something like that. Basically this hike is the same trail that takes you to Mount Hoffman. So I've already done this. I was already familiar with the trail. With Mount Hoffman, you take a right. With this one, you just go straight. You just follow the trail. You can also make this trail longer if you wanted to. You could go to Green Mountain as well. That's another option, Green Mountain. You basically have to cross the stream slash river right before the falls. And it's not a overly dangerous, crazy creek crossing or anything like that. The water is pretty shallow right now, which was not what I was expecting. That was an option. However, like I mentioned, my ankles were sore from the previous day. So Dyson Falls is a really pretty waterfall. There is two waterfalls on this hike. There's one right at the beginning at the Sheep River. It's the Sheep River Falls and then Dyson Falls is your end objective, I guess. So that was really nice. We just kind of Stayed at the falls for a while, ate lunch, took some photos, and then headed back to the car. This is a great hike if you are going on a hot day. If you're one of those people that is stubborn like me and wants to go hiking even when it's like 30 degrees outside, this is gonna be a great hike for you because most of it is in the trees. Most of it is shaded, so you're not gonna feel like you're gonna die of sunstroke or anything or exposure. The only exposure it really is right in the meadow and then right at the end of the hike, you're gonna be in some hot sun if you decide to do this on a hot day. But for the most part, a lot of it is in the trees, which is nice. And there is tons of mosquitoes this time of year. I literally saw swarms of them and I have tons of mosquito bites to show for it. Even having bug spray and citronella, I still, I still got eaten alive on this one. So yeah, I mean, that's one thing to know. The one negative aspect of this hike was the mosquitoes for sure. But yeah, that is pretty much all I can really say about this one. If you are looking for a nice and easy walk that's not too long, that doesn't have a lot of elevation gain, maybe it's like your first hike of the year, this is a great one. I recommend it. It is located in South Kananaskis around the Blue Rock Wildland area if you are looking for it. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. I let you deeper than I hear you